What's up, YouTube? It's Nishi. It's been a long ass time, you guys. So, I just came back from stake last weekend, or state tournament for Yu Gi Oh! Um, I went 3 3. I didn't do well. <laughs> uh, I'll go over the deck profile with you guys. If you guys have any questions, um, let me know in the comments and I'll put uh, my email and ways to contact me down below. But yeah, I'm still theory crafting with this deck. I feel like there's still more to go with it. But yeah, anyways, let's get to the profile. Okay guys, so we're here. Um, so I'll just go off with the starters. So the starters, we play three Unizombie, the best starter in the deck, obviously. You play three Shernui Solitaire. I did think about cutting this down to two, but with the ratios and talking to some friends, I just went ahead and went with three for this tournament. And then I went with one Gazuki. I know some builds do play two because he does come up sending uh, Gazuki from deck to grave for the second effect. Um, that does come up occasionally. And then for the uh, Doom King package, essentially the Zombie World package, um, you play two Necro World Banshee, one Globe Bloom, and two Doom King. I did cut this down to one. I was talking to some people in the Zombie um, Discord. I do think this is better at two, so I would recommend putting this to two next time. And then two Doom King. So extenders, um, extenders, you play one Jack of Bolin, and then two Mizuki. Um, it's just a great extension and having two, it's fine to have. So for hands traps, I actually play a decent amount in here. I was not thinking it would work out, like, cause I usually brick a lot. Um, but it actually came out in handy. I actually um, needed them when I saw them. It actually helped. So I played three Ash, three Artifact Lancia, and then I play the Gamut Package. So how I got put onto the Gamut Package, I was talking to people in the Discord and my friend um, saying that if you open up Solitaire and then you have Gamma in hand, it's basically a plus because you get a go into Omega, and you can still pop off. So with that, we'll go into the spells. Um, there are two cards that I don't have in here that I did play since I traded them away, since they were only one of us. Um, but essentially, I have three Zombie World, three Pot of Extravagance. Um, I did think about playing Prosperity since I only have one, but I just went with Extrav. And I traded away the prosperity now, but I went with extra. This did come up a lot when I saw it. It helped a lot. Just getting the free draws. Just the best thing about this deck is your extra deck isn't really needed as much. Then the one ofs. I played one called by and one foolish. Yeah, it is a speed duel. Um, come at me. It's still a secret. <laughs> um, and then basically the next two cards are the heart of the credit card, not heart of the cards, heart of the credit card. Um, so we have two lightning storms when I saw these these came in clutch um, Sometimes I did see them and they were kind of bricks but if I did have more money, I would play droplets and Triple tactics, but I only have two lightning storms, which I was able to trade And then I also play three super poly I did used to run this at two because sometimes you hate to see it multiples in hand, but um, It's not as bad since I have a lot of targets now. And with this meta, I think this actually comes up a lot more. And then the last two cards are two rivalry. I don't like playing three because I break so many times opening multiple. So it's nice to see it when you do nice and it's okay sometimes when you don't see it. And then the two cards that I had that I traded away was one Ice Dragon's Prison and one Forbidden Droplets. Um, definitely harder of the credit card. If you open them, it's just blow out. Um, I remember I top deck IDP with Zombie World against a Phantom Knight player, uh, one of my friends from our locals. <laughs> and I was just able to banish everything and then it was basically just a grind game from there with the Zombie that I had. So with the extra deck, uh, oof, I don't even think I have it put together. This is awkward. Hold on one moment. <laughs> Okay, so I found my extra deck. So I run one Link Kribo, obviously for Globe Bloom. I run two Vampire Sucker, since having 
Having one banished and still having one is nice occasionally, depending. I have one Halky Fibrax, one Avengered Savior, one Predator Plant uh, Verde Anaconda. You can change this into IP Mascarena if you don't have the money for it. Um, and then I do one Unicorn, Axis Code Talker. You can switch this into a Boral Sword. I know a lot of people prefer it over Axis Code, at least in Zombies. You could do a Boral Load or anything like that. And then into Synchros, um, we obviously play the One Omega, basically a zombie. If you don't play this, you're wrong. <laughs> and then we play one Formula Synchron with uh, Shurnay's Sun Saga. Once the new level 10 Synchro comes out, I would recommend uh, switching it out for that. Switching this one out for that one. I, that's what everyone's been saying in the Zombie Horde Facebook group and in the Discord. So for Super Poly targets, I have one Starting Venom, one Dragon Necro, one Winda, um, since depending on your locals, you probably would want to play more depending on how many Shredals there are, and then one uh, Mud Dragon. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then I will talk to you guys about the matchups and what uh, I played against and everything like that. So I meet again in my bathroom. Well, this is the only place with decent lighting right now. <laughs> uh, hopefully I'll be changing my setup and I'll hopefully be uploading a lot more. My work has been killing me. I've just been busy like crazy. So for um, matchups, there were six rounds of Swiss. I went 3-3. Three, three. Um, so my first match was Witchcrafters. <laughs> it, was, it was bad. I had no idea what the deck does. Um, I was just letting them go off Well, that was happening. I was like, okay, I guess I'll try and break it. We'll see what happens. So with that being said, um, I had no idea what they did and they kept always landing on the field spell that made it so I can't activate spells. So I was like, well, can't super poly, can't lightning storm. I guess I just scoop. I don't know. I can't just beat over them. I guess if I uh, sent Doom King, I guess that would have been help because you can just keep summoning back. But besides that, I lost 0-2. <laughs> don't judge me, okay? I'm learning. I'll learn the matchup better. Um, and then I played against Gimmick Puppets. That was an easy 2-0. Um, it was just a dude that was super casual. You're just talking bullshit and all that. Um, the next match, let me pull it up. I played one meta, which was Zoo Lich. And I was like, all right, shit, I don't got outs. Because uh, my extra or my side deck wasn't optimal, I would say. For Lightning Storms it was, but I just wasn't able to pay, play through all the traps that he had. So I went 0-2 on that one. <laughs> And then I played against Gren Maju. Holy shit. Okay, so he was going first, first time. So I was like, okay, he's playing like some rank eight spam Gren Maju type deck. I was like, okay, cool. So I scooped and then I went first. Or no. Yeah, I went first. I comboed. And then he sets five back row. I'm like, wait. I thought he was playing Gren Maju. What is this? And then knowing me, I was like, all right, I'll just attack. And then he fucking needle sealing me, and then different dimensional burial ground. So I'm like, well, shit, I'm well, I just, I, I'm just out. I can't do anything to that. I got no response. I'm fucked. I'll just take the L at that point. And then I played, uh, what was it, photons? That was a two-one for me. I won that. Um, he was able to pop off first game, and then I was just able to sweep him up the last two. And then, um, what was it? I played against Phantom Knights. Phantom Knights, that was pretty easy. It was close. I think that was also a, was it two? That was a 2 0 also. That was a 2 0. Um, I played through two evenly matches through that shit. That shit was suck. We were just top decking and I had Unizombie on the field. So thankfully, Unizombie was just able to keep sending from deck like, ugh, ugh. So that, that was good. Um, I think it was a great learning experience after that. I just learned a lot. I was super nervous my first game because like I just super casual. I just play with some friends, bullshit and all that. Um, it was a great learning experience. Two of my friends that I, that came with me, they made top cut. One was playing like 60 card dinos. What was it? 60 card dino dogmatica, and then one was playing invoke shit all. And he was the best technical player in our group, and he got fourth place. So I mean, it is tier one. So it is what it is. Um, and then I got really good trades while I was over there. Oh my goodness, I scored so good. I got a hero core. I upgraded my Eld my golden boys. 
I got a shit ton of like first at Sky Striker stuff. I was like, woo! I was so happy. I was so <laughs> so hyped. Anyways, um, hopefully sooner or later I will be posting um, a video with my friends, 60 card Dino Dogmaticalist, and my friends should all invoked. I mean, I guess I don't really need to show. There's so many should all invoke that course. Like Wygo, Paisano, and all of them. He's like, was it third rated duelist with a third rated duelist with a first rated deck, something like that. That shit was funny. But um, hope you guys liked the video. I will hopefully be posting more content soon. I am thinking military for the next one. If not, let me know in the description what you want to see, and I'll let all my um, contact info down there too. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.